You there! Artemis sent you to save me! Kill you quick! Many thanks, two legs. The mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Then it was a waste of time. Ligia waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear which he claims killed the writhing dread. No, no, the creature took Ligia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... I have what opens the lair. And you didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? Eh, there was no need for violence. The daughters of Artemis didn't even know I was there. Then Tihi truly is on our side. Ligia still stands a chance. Wait! Yeah. 
Sarah must have picked up the artifact and transformed into that creature. I wonder how many people have become the writhing dread over the centuries. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Fortification improves the stamina. <laughs> what do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. <laughs> Champion! Cause I testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no! Can't possibly go now. Training! See? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. Enough! Get on my ship, or I'll drag you there. Don't yell at me! I was coming anyway! Ugh, Malaka. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? <sighs> He'd better fucking win. Me, Commander! Testicles, it's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am! What made you kick him in the head instead of going for a cut? We're at maximum speed! Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm uh, surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little girl. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. <laughs> sure. Who do you think will win the most wreaths this year? I will! Athens will surely rise. To the occasion. I say Messinia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pancratium, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who's that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... SPARTA! <laughs> oh, 
a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Surely he can swim. Well, it looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals? And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Cassie. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Anything you need the mercenaries help with? Is nothing safe from thieves in this city? Even the athletic equipment has been stolen. What equipment? Most of the athletes I've seen barely wear clothes. The javelins, Mistios! Stop thinking about naked athletes and help us with these thieves! And you're hoping I'll kill all the bandits? You read me like an oracle. I'll help you. You have my word. Braver than you look. Good luck. I'll come back when I'm done. I'm here for the Pancration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water. I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pancration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Come on! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart, the Pancration. I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action! For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! That's not fair! A big hurt! Oh. Where's your tough talk gone Why now? Why you? Ha! You'll be easy! Yeah. Oh. Please! Please, by the gods, no more! <sighs> you can't keep this up! 
That was your best? That was but the beginning. What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what she can do against Erastos. Good luck. Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars. Yeah. Uh, Just like beautiful. that. Beautiful. You've got this. The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Cassandra against our reigning champion, Voriavs! Uh. Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias, respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? Uh, it's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonideon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be too, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. <coughs> Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. Watch where you're going! Yeah. <laughs> Here, I have the antidote. Mm. Oh, more wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. Let's get this over with. For Ira. 
we've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how she does against our reigning champion, Voryavs! I'll squash you like a bug. You'll have to try harder if you want to live. <laughs> The gods have looked kindly on these, our champions! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory! He must be the one Pythagoras mentioned. The layer of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, Amistios. What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Iotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistios. I am very worried about my pivos. This must be pivos, or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet. These pieces fit together perfectly. This must be the key. The statue, it's gone. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! The statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx, the guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. 
One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. What is always old and sometimes new? Never sad, sometimes blue. Never empty, but sometimes full. Never pushes, always pulls. The moon. An interesting choice. Some try to hide, some try to cheat. But time will show, we always will meet. Try as you might to guess my name. I promise you'll know when you I do claim. Time. A keen mind. In spring I am gay in handsome array. In summer more clothing I wear. When colder it grows, I fling off my clothes. And in winter quite naked appear. You're a tree. Impressive, little one. Most impressive. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. Like those who came before, you have faith. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. Never resting, never still. Moving silently from hill to hill. It does not walk, run, or trot. All is cool where it is not. It's the sun. Mm, your perception is admirable. What is large yet never grows, has roots that cannot be seen, and is taller than trees. A mountain. How fascinating. What can bring back the dead? Make you cry, make you laugh, make you young. Is born in an instant, yet lasts a lifetime. Memories. Huh. You're full of surprises. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned, and touch the symbols that reflect your choices.
Looks like I missed it. Pater? Cassandra, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris was a mistake. I could not stay, not after what happened. I wasn't fit for command. Neither is Stentor, but he isn't running from it. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye, Cassandra of Sparta. is ours! If I hadn't been here, you'd never have survived. My father would have ensured a more decisive victory. But he's not here. Oh, we have you to thank for that, if I recall. Uh, don't start. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, Your you... job is done, mercenary. 
Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to! And so will I! What could you possibly gain from killing me? Justice, vengeance, peace! One would be enough, but all three is better! You think vengeance will dull your pain? Trust me, it won't. Here's the thing. I don't trust you. You don't have to do this, Tentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. I've already paid more than you could ever know. I don't give a shit what you've been through. Stentor, it's done. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mother and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both. I love a good adventure. If you've got the drachmi and the time, I've got a once-in-a-lifetime adventure just for you. Tell me more. Secrecy is key, Mystios. We can't just have anyone knowing there's a fortune to be found. But first, everything has a price. Pay up, and I'll give you a tablet with everything you need to know. Here you go. Excellent. Here you go. This tablet will lead you directly to untold riches. What? Just tell me where... The tablet reveals all. What does that even mean? Just look at the tablet and follow the directions, Mystios. My work here is done. 
Off the east coast of Kithira, on Veakofti Island, your reward awaits. Weaklings! You cannot stop us! You are a gift from the goddess herself. And by the fates. She chose well. Yes, your goddess has blessed you. I am a fine specimen, but so are you. I've always liked the charmers. I guess you didn't like these guys. You can fight. I'm impressed. I may be a priestess of love, but I also bite. I always bite. One has to be bold to attack a priestess. You must be important. I am Dioni, a simple acolyte born to serve Aphrodite. These thugs are dogs of the cult of Cosmos, and this has not been the first attempt on my life. The cult? Tell me all that you know. Now. Not here. We'll be safer in the city. Escort me? I'm safe here. The cult of Cosmos would never strike inside the city. Good. Tell me more about them. Right now? <laughs> At least let me catch my breath. And take a good long look at your beautiful self. Enough idle chatter. Tell me what you know about the cult. If you insist. We've always kept tabs on the cult, and lately they've gotten bolder. By the fates, they've driven my sister, the High Priestess, to lock herself in her chambers. A cult leader must be involved if they are trying to kill such a public figure. We're not dealing with the usual rats. My sister wants me to secure Kithra from the cult and sniff out the cultists behind her drums. That could work. Your sister sounds smart. The plan isn't that praiseworthy. I was nearly killed. Unfortunate, but her plan is still good. Then help us secure Kithira and root out the enemy. By the fates, you've seen what can happen. I can't do this on my own. Secure Kithira? I don't work for free. I missed you, indeed. The cult has plans for the Greek world. And with my ways, I know what they will do next and where they plan to do it. I imagine this information would be useful to you. Or if that isn't enough to satisfy you, I will. Well, it has been a while since I've... communed with the gods. And don't worry. Vrachmi will also be given for your services. You drive a hard bargain. So what do you need me to do? Just three simple tasks. First, my associate by the harbor needs help. Pay him a visit. What else? My sister believes she has leads on a traitor within our ranks. If that's true, she'll need your help. Look for her in the temple. And lastly, poisoned blades are a priestess's weapon of choice. But some bandits sacked our apothecaries and have taken refuge in the Mykinian ruins. Well, if it's not the cult, it's Malachius bandits. Retrieve our poison vials. They will come in handy when fighting against the cult. I'll do what I can, for you and Kithira. Thank you, Miss Dios. Perhaps, when all this is over, we could unwind together. Priorities, Dioni. I'll see you later.
What's going on? The chest was empty. Inconceivable. Maybe you don't know how to read a tablet? I guarantee you there's something inside. How can you be so sure? Because I'm the one who put it there. Uh, I mean, Malaka. No, no, no! No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience. Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. We worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me, and I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Embedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe. There's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never! Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help! But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. Look how she strides! The confidence! If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods on Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me! Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mystios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you! Ares demands your audience! That's a big promise. You doubt me? I doubt you could get us to the ocean. It's behind you, by the way. How dare you mock? I... I'm a god! 
A god! What am I? Uh, a god? Thanks for clearing that up. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it. <sighs> Mistios, my husband! What's wrong with him? He's an idiot. That's one problem I can't solve. He's a fisherman who thought he could make better drachmi hunting lynx. Spent everything we had on a bow. I haven't seen him in three days. Please, Mistios, will you find my idiot? Not only will I find your idiot, I'll bring him home. Thank you. He was last seen west of Scandia Harbor. Please, hurry. How much is your husband worth to you? You can keep his bow. It was the talk of the Ahura before he bought it. Then I'll make sure he never uses it again. You said your husband had it. The biggest lynx live in the caves near the ruins. Knowing my idiot, that's where he'd go. So he's an idiot, but he's a good huntsman? He struggled with fish, Mistios. Tiny, toothless fish. And now the fool is hunting lynx. He's been gone a while. I should get going. You'll find him. I know it. How? Because you're not an idiot. <laughs>